Our next presenter has uh, spent her life digging around your psyche and trying to figure out exactly how to motivate you, how to turn that frown upside down. And she's got, like, you see this woman? She's got presence. She even has, like, a news anchor's name. She just goes all over this stage. So please, let's hear it for Maureen McNamara. joy in their life. Hands up, more joy. Yes. Joy is delicious. The thing that I have discovered, one of the ways that our joy goes away, is comparison. It is the thief. I've heard this quote before. It's one of the things that once I heard this and started playing with it, it seems to make so much sense. But I tell you, imagine a bowl of fruit, a fabulous fruit. Wouldn't it be ridiculous if the orange was like, you're so shiny and red, and the apple was like, you're so groovy. It's preposterous, this comparison thing that people do. We do it all the time. And one of the classic ways that we do it is with age. Has anyone ever lately thought, wish I was younger? or I'm afraid to get older, I don't want to be that grumpy jackass, or whatever it is. We do it around, around age, and I think the, in our high school years, this is where it really kind of solidified, where who are we, how do I compare to that person, or am I better, hey, what'd you get on the test? There's all that high school shenanigans that goes on. And it's one of the ways that really traps us. When we compare ourselves to others um, and use it in a judgmental way, it can really thief our joy. And maybe these days, you're, has anyone here had facial hair envy? Or wish you didn't have facial hair? Whatever it may be, there's this, we do it all the time, this comparison thing. And maybe you're wondering in your life, what's your gift? You're wondering. I wonder what's in that box. Is it better than what's in my box? And there's just a lot of comparison that goes on. People tell me that's what happens. Uh, the, the other thing is when we think about the thief, there is a way to eradicate this. And that's what I want to share with you now. How to get that joy thief out of your system. And it's not an external. It's really your choice. You get to choose whether comparison shall thief your joy ever again. And the best way to break through, for me, I'm actually still doing this, I catch myself, and I'm comparing where I thought easy times were. Years ago, I felt like I had more time, time was on my side, and things were easier, and I'm looking for things to get easier. Even that type of perspective messes with our moment. So here, if you are ready to eradicate the joy thief from your life, comparing yourself. Notice if you're doing it. it, it happens often, but you're awesome, you're fantastic, your facial hair is great, you're all awesome, so knock off the comparison. That's really a helpful way to, to break through, um, to, to eradicate the chains of whatever has held you back from your perspectives in the past. So stop that comparison piece. Here's the right slide for that. And when you find yourself doing that, just stop and really get, um, yeah, some of that. Who did, that's a test for you. Who just did comparison right there? So again, that he's awesome, he's awesome, they're awesome. No need to choose when you can have it all. Way to knock off the joy thief is to really get present, to be in this moment, not in the past, not in your future, but present here, and then be grateful. Yeah. So if you are, gratitude rocks, if you find yourself in that comparison place, what are you grateful for about yourself, about that person, not in a judgmental way? And this is my favorite way to eradicate the joy thief is to find yourself and your comparing shenanigans amusing. 
The question is, what's amusing about Harrison trickery? Um, I assure you, being in joy, choosing joy, is as not as the unicorn. It's easy to do when you realize you're comparing, knock it off. I'd love to hear about your adventures in playing beyond the joy thief. Let me know what you as you choose more joy. Rock on!